Hey, what's up, guys? So my name is Britton. Obviously, as you can tell, um, I'm actually I'm actually a staff sergeant in the United States Army, uh, and I'm here to tell you guys about what you to what to expect from basic training. Um, now, keep in mind, I this is going on I'm going on my tenth year now uh, in the Army, and uh, so my basic training experience is going to be different than what basic training is now, um, but still the majority of it is going to be the same. Um, so I'm just going to break down what to um, expect when you go to basic training. So when you go to basic training, the very first thing you're going to do, right? I'm, I'm infantry, right? Uh, so I went to base training down in Benning and for people who won't go down to Benning, you know, it's still going to be pretty much the same. It might be a little bit more lax. Like if you go to Jackson or something like that, um, it's just how it is. It is what it is. Um, but it's pretty much going to be the same, uh, maybe not in the intensity level, but it's pretty much going to be the same. So what's going to happen is you're going to go to your destination. Uh, when you get there, you're going to see a whole bunch of other people that are going to look like you. You can tell who the, these trainees are going to be. You can just tell just looking across like the airport or wherever you're at. You can just be like, okay, that's, that's a trainee. I can tell. Um, you guys are going to get on a bus and you guys are going to head straight to wherever your location is. Um, then after that, you're going to, when you get on the bus, uh, However long it takes, you are then going to get to your def destination. When you get to your destination, a drill sergeant is going to get on board. And that's going to be pretty much a lot of you guys' first experience with the drill sergeant. Um, drill sergeant is going to get on board the bus. He's going to tell you to get off the bus fast. And you guys are going to stand in a, in a certain position, however he wants you to stand or she wants you to stand. Uh, you're going to get to this position and you guys are going to get ready to unload your contraband. Right? So contraband includes anything like uh, a knife or goodies like snacks like any you know i don't know beef jerky whatever uh any poke bait that you could have you know that you're not supposed to have um <clears throat> a lot of people are like well what if i bring my you know my grandpa's uh uh pocket knife that's been in our family for generations going in the garbage i'm telling you and it's not like you get it back either like it's it's done so don't even bring it anything that you think could be contraband whatever your recruiters or whatever the hell uh, give you uh, to say hey bring or don't bring follow that because if you bring something you're not supposed to bring you're gonna lose it okay uh, next after that you're gonna be in reception right people don't know about reception people think that as soon as you go down to wherever the hell you're going it's immediate drill sergeant is yelling in your face whatever it's not the case the first like week to two weeks you're gonna be in reception right now I want you to keep something in mind everyone who is a, an authoritative figure is not your friend right at all because I know, uh, even me, I, the reason I bring this up is because even me, I was trying to, like, I am I try to be calm, cool, and collective as much as I can, and not necessarily be friends with people, but, you know, feel them out and try to get them to be, you know, positive towards me, be a little bit, you know, I don't know, human, I guess, towards me. That's not the case here. No one's going to try to be your friend. No one's going to be like, hey, man, I'll sneak you in this. Nothing. No, so don't try it because they're, they'll be looking for it and then they'll tell your drill sergeants whenever they actually come and pick you up. These two weeks, you're going to be sitting there in reception. You're going to be getting your ID card. You're going to be getting your, um, you'll be getting your uniforms. You'll be getting hygiene items like toothbrushes, toothpaste, uh, PT shoes, um, things of that nature. Make sure your pay is correct, right? And this is going to take a week to two weeks, right? Uh, during that time, Here's a tip. During that time, do not overindulge yourself in the fatty food that they give you in reception, i.e. all these cheeseburgers, pizza, uh, cake, fat foods, right? All this pokey bait they want to like feed you, do not eat it. The reason why I'm saying that is because those one, two weeks when you're sitting there filling your little fat ass up, when the drill sergeants come and get you, it's over. It's done. And you're going to regret every single slice of pizza, every single you know, whatever cheeseburger, whatever they give you, you'll regret it because it's going to be spilled all over the ground in your shoes. I promise you. So after these two weeks are over, uh, the drill sergeants are going to come and they're going to pick you up, right? Majority of stories that I've heard, you know, they, they throw you into a, a bus or they throw you into like a Matt V or not Matt V, a LMTV, whatever. And then they drive to the location, right? Me and uh, down at Fort Bay, I'm sure a lot of, if you're infantry and you watch this video, I'm sure a lot of you guys are in the same boat. Um, I They made me run. They made me and the rest of the guys run uh, <clears throat> to our base training site. Um, it was about like two, three miles, something like that. 
And we ran there the whole time. Uh, uh, obviously, didn't stop. A lot of people were falling out already, and it's only a three-mile run, and it's it's not a big deal. Especially after you've been in the Army a while, three, uh, three miles is not a lot. But back then, it was. Um, as soon as you get there, uh, they don't do shark attack anymore. They might do some sort of mod, like modified version. I don't know. Uh, but basically, shark attack is when as soon as you get there, it's on. You know, they're making you do push-ups. It's called smoking. They're smoking you. Uh, they're making you do push-ups. They're making you do sit-ups. They're making you do, you know, lift your bag above your head. They're making you run a, uh, run a lap around the uh, track, you know, whatever the case may be. And this is going on the whole day, right? Um, but I don't think they do that anymore, so you don't really have to worry about it. Um, after that, you're going to get in process into base training. They're going to give you your gear, everything like that. That includes like uh, IOTV. They're going to give you your flick. They're going to give you your helmet, all that stuff so you have it ready to go. Um, so the point of base training is, is to break you. Plain and simple. I'm not sugarcoating it. Um, it's to break you. Um, it's to take you out of your element 100% because you are going to base training as a civilian, but the goal is to make you come out as a soldier, right? If you don't come out as a soldier, <clears throat> then you don't come out of basic training, plain and simple. Uh, so you go there and everything is scheduled, right? Everything. When I say everything, you might have heard me wrong. You might have heard, oh, wow, a lot of things there are scheduled. That's not what I said. Everything that you do at basic training will be scheduled to a T to even, you know, classes that you're going to do when you're going to eat, even when you're going to go to sleep, when you use a restroom all of that so there are times that you're gonna be like man i really gotta go take a piss doesn't matter it's not happening the only way you're gonna go to the restroom is if the drill sergeants let you go to the restroom there's no exceptions if ands buts you are not going to the restroom unless they say so um so it starts out uh red white and blue phase red phase is when you're just going to be going through hell there's always gonna be a drill sergeant around you it is what it is it's only like two weeks not a big deal after that so actually no during red phase what you're gonna be doing is like gas chamber stuff you're going to be doing um some combatives you're going to be doing uh a lot of physical pt to break you in like you're going to start doing your ruck marches start doing runs stuff like that um but that's how base training is that's what the point especially red phase is, is supposed to do it's supposed to completely take you out of your element to form you into a soldier you got to look at yourself as just a block of clay and they're sculpting you to be a soldier plain and simple um it's harder for some people. It's easier for other people. Um, it's all mental attitude, how you deal with it. Um, I I don't want to say it's not difficult, but it's not easy. Uh, but to make it easier, is it's all about your mindset. You know what I mean? Um, so white phase is when you're going to start doing your marksmanship, uh, all that stuff. Make sure you qualify, whatnot. And then blue phase is when you're going to start doing some other um, little uh, in-depth army stuff like battle drills, whatnot. So... Uh, the thing about basic training is everyone is in the same position as you, right? And what I mean by that is it's not like some people are different than others, unless you have a couple holdovers, but that's whatever. You'll If you see them when you're there, you'll know. But um, everyone is in the same position as you, i.e. everyone has never been in this situation before. And since no one's been in this situation before, everyone's scared. Everyone doesn't know what to expect. Excuse me. No one knows what to expect. No one knows what's going on when you get in the gas chamber. No one knows exactly how to, you know, shoot an M4. You know, there's going to be people who are like, oh, gosh, yeah, I, I went and hunt with my dad all the time. That doesn't matter. That does not matter at all, I promise you. Everyone's in the same exact position. No ifs, ands, or buts. Um, but that's good, though. That's what's going to help you bond. That's what it's called. That's what we call embracing the suck. That's what you're doing. And you guys are doing it together. And I still talk to some, uh, some guys that I went to base training with like 10 years ago. Um, because that's the first kind of experience I've had. Uh, and you only get experiences like that, like in the military or, you know, I don't, I don't even really know what else you'd have, uh, that kind of experience, that shared experience with, um, next going into a little bit more contraband. I talked about it a little bit earlier, contraband, contraband, contraband. When I say contraband, I mean, don't bring food up to the barracks. Do not sneak in, do not sneak in peanut butter packets do not sneak in apples don't sneak in whatever food into the barracks because drill sergeants will find it drill sergeants find it everyone's in for a bad day everyone 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 and if you do bring it up do not throw it away in the trash can that is in your barracks in like your bay 
because obviously the drill sergeants will grab it and dump it out and be like, okay, there's peanut butter packets right there. Who ate it? And then everyone's screwed, right? Um, some little tips before I, uh, before I cut the video. Um, lock your wall lockers. Lock your wall lockers. Make sure that every time that you leave or you get into, not even, not even get into it, especially when you get into it, but not even that. When you leave your area, when you got to go down and form up or whatever the case may be, you ensure that your wall locker is locked. Because if it's not, you're going to find your locker and everyone else's stuff fucked up. Plain and simple. Make sure you walk, lock your wall locker. Also, in your wall locker, how the drill sergeants tell you to make sure that it is formed up completely right. Dress right, dress. This over here, this over here, this folder this way, this folder this way. Make sure it is that way. Plain and simple. Then... Uh, also, make sure that like your bed is dress right dress. How they tell you to fold it, how they tell you to make your pillow, whatever the case may be. Make sure it is like that before you leave. And also on top of that, make sure after you make the bed, you do not get onto the bed. Because if you get on the bed, it's going to mess up the folds and they're going to immediately tell that's not at a 45 degree angle. Oh, someone's clearly been laying in this bed, you know, and it's over. Everyone is destroyed. I promise you. Um, also... Make sure you square away your battle buddies, right? Make sure you square away the person to your left and to your right. If you do not do this, this is how it's going to go. The first time that that person, because it's inevitable, everyone's going to have that shit bag that's going to be in your base training cycle. There's no fans or butts. You can't stop it. It is what it is. How it's going to go is that person's going to mess up. The drill sergeant's going to smoke him. After that person messes up again, the drill sergeant's going to smoke him. After he messes up third, fourth, fifth time, whatever... He's going to stop smoke. He or she's going to stop smoking that person and is going to move to, instead of smoking them, smoking everyone else in the entire platoon until you guys realize you need to make sure he or she is not fucked up. Make sure he's wearing the right, he or she's wearing the right uniform. That they, they are, you know, they, they walk, they lock their wall locker. Make sure that they're actually using, uh, uh, doing hygiene. Make sure they're actually showering. Make sure they're actually bringing in toilet paper when they go and take a shit. Because I know some people when I was at base training didn't bring, everyone had their own rolls of toilet paper. And one of the guys did not ever bring his own roll of toilet paper in when he took a shit. And I don't know what he was using, if at all. But make sure that people are doing the right thing. Make sure they're clean. Make sure they're not dirty. Make sure they're in, there. Make sure they're in the right place, right time, right uniform. Because if you don't, you guys are going to get fucked up because of what they did. Because of their actions. And that's how the drill sergeants will fix it, right? Um, but that's all I have. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh... Like for a part two and uh, make sure you uh, subscribe and uh, leave a comment. Thank you so much.